People need to understand what the Diamond Realers Entertainment about to do in St. Louis. Like, I got a lot going on. I'm not, I have not necessarily touched the rap industry yet because there's a whole lot of people that I'm connected to. I don't want to feel like I'm stepping on toes, but I'm going to stay in my lane until I branch out to dealing with the different man. artists and stuff in the nation. But, yeah, they're going to be doing walkthroughs with the Battle of the Brands. They're going to do a whole lot of shit fucking with me. Hell yeah. It, the people there, like, it's not like there ain't no crowd. It was 500 plus people with the ambassador last year. All the freaking media I had, Bob News, Derek Brown, and re SCL News in the same fucking building. You know how much traction I got off that off that them three off alone? That alone, you feel me? Um the the group interview with all the designers, we already we hit six thousand freaking views in twenty four hours. Yeah, yeah, so you already know what's gonna happen. We had five thousand people look at that interview alone that day. Like that shit was crazy. Mm -hmm. But people need to get with that program like Facebook paying y'all. The do time. dumb shit and right. sport your brand, like make it make sense. You got models, not necessarily use them, but get their ass on a on a plan. Like this is what we gotta hit and make make this shit make sense to you. Right, you want like I'm finna be on my, on my models' asses. They know right. I'm not finna be playing with them all the way from now to September. I'm finna be on their ass like freaking firecrackers. Like whoever get this invite for this situation, like the invite on Facebook, they get five hundred dollars. Like. Stop playing with me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and a lot of people ain't doing that. Like, I need to see Black Demand on all y'all reels. Like, y'all need to get it together. But, you know, I'm going to get them molded into that situation. Like, uh, it's a lot of my models that have never been in New York Fashion Week. So, I'm trying to have battle brands look like New York Fashion Week. Because I synced it all on Instagram. Like, the shit was crazy. Hell like, yeah. I'm over it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 10,000 people in one freaking arena. <laughs> I want to get to the point that I'm going to start having battle with the brands at the freaking America Center. Yeah, yeah. That's how big I, I want that that event. Like season three, y'all gotta make it make sense. Straight up. I bring down the ten thousand yeah. motherfuckers to this event. Y'all better make it make sense in your book. I swear you better get clothes loaded, everything. Like, what are you doing? Right, cause if you ain't if you ain't if you ain't uh evolving every year, then what you doing it for? You feel me? The, the it like you know you season one was a type. make and break situation right. you know I'm not gonna cut I'm not gonna break even I'm I want to profit like you know it was a learning experience I'm like okay I did what I had to do you know no more price cuts on these tickets like y'all go and see fucking Ori and them up there spending four five hundred dollars on their ass you can't right. spend twenty five dollars on a fucking general mission ticket right make it uh, make sense yeah yeah but, yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> People, like you said, people people uh, spend money on what they want. Exactly. Me? They pay attention to what they want to pay attention to. But uh, I said Facebook. But St. Louis got to understand, we need to get this city back on the map. Like, we want this to be the entertainment state. Like, uh, freaking Atlanta. We want that shit to be bigger than Atlanta. We're like, what is y'all doing? Yeah, yeah. But people got to work together and get with the program and stop hanging on each other, worry about everybody else's pockets. That's what I see and what I experience on the app. Like, I'm bigger than fucking Facebook, to be honest. Like, I be outside. Like, I be everywhere. Straight up. Outside, you did. I be, <laughs> like, I be outside, outside. It's just, I, 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 I walk Working, in silence. Hustling. Like, yeah, people might hear me talk my shit on Facebook or whatever case it be, but I do so much shit out the book that people don't even fucking know about. Like, I'm out. I'm outward. Not in a <laughs> negative way, but I made money moves out here. Like, what are you doing? Like, right, you busy playing chess. They playing checkers. You know what I'm period. saying? Period. So, yeah, for sure. In that order, you did. <laughs> the podcast, I'm finna get it together. I'm finna look for a couple or more co hosts for the situation right now. We're doing Black Entrepreneurs Month for a free 30 minute interview. So, mm -hmm. you better utilize that half an hour to get your brand out there because uh, people looking, like, when people don't necessarily be on the actual live, but after that, they, they, they look. <laughs> oh, Lord. But yes, uh, we finna get everything together and we finna go from there. But tune in, all urban street where clothing lines going head to head for two thousand dollars to get the title of the battle of the brand season two trophy. Get y'all brand exposed and do what you gotta do. You know, this urban uh, urban street where industry gonna make you or break you. You wanna play or this be a hobby or this be a lifestyle? Like this a lifestyle to me. My models already knew that. I've been with the black man four years. Next year be five years. So I'm gonna go viral again. Yeah, I'm right. Simple. <laughs> I didn't even know it was gonna go viral. If I could battle the brand season one, but that shit went viral in 48 hours. Like I see how shit the easy the shit was. People people need to understand. Sure, repeat. Sure, support. That's all I was telling the clothing designers last season. Like, 
focus on your shit. Now I got clothing designer that was dealing with me getting billboards, getting in New York Fashion Week, up there getting in like big stone Cold, like big interviews. I, I see this shit like half of this shit, the shit I was seeing beforehand, but nobody wasn't doing that shit. I could have had thousands of billboards. I could have been on thousands of commercials. I could have been on thousands of all that, but I don't. I ain't on nobody's time. My time. Who the fuck I'm gonna be with? Straight up. Other than the battle of the brands, that's who I'm gonna compete with. Cause my models this season, they not playing with y'all. They taking the two racks home. I'm like, okay, <laughs> pop your shit then. Pop your shit, uh, yeah. Oh, they on a mission. Uh, shout out to my model coach Savvy, the model. I love her. She's been with me since day one. She about to mold these models to get into greater things right now. New York Fashion Week is on the way, and we about to get a crack here, so we better go viral three times this year. So it's mm -hmm. uh, I got the big announcement coming up June first. Tune in. That's what's up, y'all. You know I got so much stuff that's like I haven't even released to the public yet. People gonna be like, "Oh my god, what the fuck?" <laughs> yeah, keep watching. <laughs> yeah, like watch today, you. like I was looking at the like the little dumbass reels I did last night. People watching me, like they watch me. Like, what is wrong with you? Like, <laughs> I had like almost a hundred people that's not even my friends looking at my page. Like that's how I know people are paying attention to my page. Like they know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> They they trying to see what's going on better rest like y'all better come on stop playing like <laughs> let's get this money get up pay your three hundred dollars and I do what the fuck I gotta do.